All right, this video is going to be dedicated to our house, basically here in the city of the Nova Mesta in Slovenia. Sometimes in 2004, Vladimir Putin ordered replica, exactly replica of this house to be built in Russia. And uh, supposedly it was built, not entirely, entirely, but portion of it, okay, good portion of it, um, Right uh, here is our house in the city of the normal mist. Now notice that um, by the way, this is a house everybody knew. All right, I'm going to go from this side rather than from this side. But if you go, if you go from here and you, you pay attention to the house, the house is it's going like downhill here. So did you get to the house? It's like a little steep here. Uh, as you come up here, Kutzl, I don't know how you say that. Uh, we go from this side and I position myself like this you can see that you have to go like from the house you would go up here a little bit like little little hill here where the road goes past and so on so let me see if there's like anything else here I would notice um, the house the house itself um it looks like our house uh but the rear of the house is not exactly like our house and um i remember when they uh plant trees and stuff like this and uh they had to catch up seriously with the trees that my father had for quite some time. Uh, those trees had to grow to catch up the step with it. Um, but the road is exactly like this and just about like five minutes away, 10 minutes maximum also, uh, is a factory not as big as this Kirka pharmaceutical here that you see, not like this monster here, but uh, a factory, and that factory grew significantly. Uh, the terrain where the house in Russia is built is more like this here. It's like flat land. That's why I demonstrated you uh, that it's not completely the same. Yeah. So I remember in Russia that people would come, they would walk home and they would see me in the garden. And I remember the garden. The owners of this house are blonde. It's a uh, gentleman is blonde and also ladies, very light skinned, blue eyes. So we're talking about the Russian people here. Um, 2004, the order was given by Vladimir Putin. 2006, house was finalized. My father went to Russia and he, um, here when it comes to the river bank, 
etcétera, etcétera. Not the same, but somewhat similar. I don't know what is down there. Is there like a river or is not a river? Uh, this place here is Sosinki. It's called Sosinki. It's close to Sarato. Uh, let me zoom myself out here. This is where Andrei Ul, the neighbor Andrei Ul, Method Yerman used to travel in this place here. This it's called Sarato in Russia. This is this big city here, Sarato. Huge city. Um, I traveled here all the fucking time. So for me, the difference doesn't make. I was in all these villages. Uh, Atkarsk. It's like the biggest village to what I assume in an area of our house is. Now, there is a, a river here, and this river it's called this river it's called Medved, Medvedka, Medvednica, I don't know how. Uh, are you going to write this down? Let me see it. Reka Medvedica, like a bear river in that sense, yeah. Then here, for instance, you have this Edelweiss, Edelweiss. Um, this, what is this thing here? Let me see what's the name of this place. From what I recall, there was another store. And then they put this store here. Yeah. This does have something to do with the Germans. Um, investors, I have no fucking idea. And uh, all this stuff was negotiated in our house. Uh, in this house, still. Um, Edelweiss goes back to... Two thousand and two, something like that. Um, let me say something to you. We have this Edelweiss here. You would need to do uh, all these villages were involved in it. The problem is big. This is a Russia. Oh fuck! Hey, look at that. I got a map actually. Uh, I mean streets uh, stuff. Psych. Crazy, awesome, man. I am not going to go in this direction because this is the direction where they would take me. For MK Ultra, I'm going to instead go to this side of the river and I want to see. I think I'm going to be turning right here. Something is telling me guts. It's going to be a right. Reka Medvedica, the river Medvedica is like, I spend a lot of time there in that river. At times, my parents would have to travel. Mother, father, and I bet also others that had to travel. They report themselves to the airport and bye bye. Okay, let's see this here. I'm not sure about uh, this voyage. Uh, we're going to be better this way. Let's see that. Edelweiss, yeah, this is it. Right. It would be the right turn. It says here, Yuzhnaya Ulica. 
I have no fucking way so that I could tell where this house would be possibly located. I'm sure you understand why. Um, The MK Ultra would go down to the river and then we would go down and down and down. I actually, let me see something else here too. Okay, this is also interesting. That It would be really nice to have street maps here. Or it's a Carla Marxa. Uh, you know, Impossible, you see, it's impossible for me to tell where this house is. I'm sure you understand why it's impossible. Which to me, if you ask me also, is makes no sense that this MK are true. Okay, here somewhere is, I think, one house, all these villages, all this. Uh, so, what can I tell you? What else can I tell you about this? Beginning the 2009, beginning the 2008 even. 2008, George Bush was the first one that traveled to this replica of the house in the Russia. Uh, George, George Bush was the first one 2010 uh these people would not travel We're talking about the western illuminatis uh too damn frequently into our house but they did uh russians i should say slovenian police uh they were eager to get something that would steer away attention, publicity from this house. Uh, and uh, create a completely different landscape about MK Ultra as per who was guilty and so on and who enforced that kind of stuff and so on. Uh, Slovenian police claim that it is going to be a fingerprinting fingerprinting of the entire house, um, which is actually quite crazy and insane, I would say. Uh, conclusion came up that after the examination was done, there was no fingerprints found. Well, let me explain to you something. Uh, if there was no fingerprints found, uh, this is just Slovenian police who does the job like that. Uh, but other than that, this house is like packed. Thousand times more than properties in Russia. There are three houses that are replicas of our house in Slovenia. But all that adds to nothing, really, when compared to this place here. Uh, this place here was packed up with MK Ultra, from police to the foreign officials. What a stupid shit to say something like this when I have 1,000 proofs inside of the house. I can go from one place to another. And I can just point out and point out and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk who was here, when, and what person even. I'm not going to say even left behind, but some people that were here for that person, for whatever person, sometimes they would do the stuff they shouldn't have. Damage is being done here. All kinds of stuff went on here that even if you wanted to remove that shit, you could. So think about that. <laughs> it will be something like fingerprinting done and they wouldn't find the fingerprints. That would be only because the fingerprints were removed. 
that's all there is. Otherwise, this is the original place. This is the original. Nothing. All these are all other properties from MK Ultra palaces. This was the place. This was where everything started. Everything went on here. When it comes to MK Ultra, uh, this was like this became like a war zone. Beginning 1995, this place totally took off. Already before it was completely crazy, but 1995 when I departed to the U.S., this this became insane. This city turned into the war zone. Um, I'm going to put it this way. Uh, George Bush would repeat visits to this property. Very soon, Obama was to join him to the Russian property. Beginning the 2008, 2010 again, Bush popped up in the property uh, in Russia. Um, and... Uh, And you have all these politicians and Obama and so on. This American administration would just flourish there. And occasionally they would also summon my parents, sister, on the plane. Uh, they would start to travel to Russia to that house, basically. This location here sounds like Fucking familiar, this place here. Let me demonstrate to you. Let me see where is the. All this a uh, thousand times I walked through here. But I'm thinking about something else here. here um, let me see this. Me thinking that this is a. The uh-huh. You know what me thinking? Me thinking that... That something is here that is uh, just... Uh, Oh, there's there's other problems too with this stuff. The problems that pop up with this stuff is that um, there's a lot of problems actually, a lot of problems. A lot of problems with this stuff. A lot, a lot of problems is with this stuff here. Lots of all kinds of problems. The street that I was demonstrating you back in the day, Yuzhnaya um, Ulitsa, I think it was actually like only one house when it all started, close to something like this. Not really one house, but so scarce. This is like a new, this Yuzhnaya Ulitsa, this is like I could do MK Ultra about this stuff here. You know this 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 here, this place Yuzhnaya Ulitsa. It's too bad because what the fuck? I don't see anything, you know. Um Yuzhnaya Ulitsa, etc. etc. Um I here originally when it comes to houses. Uh, you know, I give you like about maybe three houses, something like this. When it, you know, when this stuff here all started, when they pull this out, let me see this. Very, very new, this stuff. This goes sometime like to, I don't know, 2000, 2002, something like that. It's possible they did the asphalt or whatever, I don't know. I would have to see some fucking street maps. I mean, I can't do it like this. I'm not going to be doing this. So, Americans that walk 
like the bridge, let me demonstrate. This bridge where this Edelweiss is here, this bridge I must have walked a thousand fucking times. So, where is this property? Here in somewhere, I don't know. Let me go back here. What is it with this uh, Edelweiss and this and that and Edelweiss? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, this goes back. This goes to 2002, 2000 and... Uh, 2000, 2002. Um, what's up with this stuff here? This stuff was all built new, you know? Back in the day, like in 2002, this shit was finished. This complex here, this stuff here. This buildings here. Uh, I would actually even think... But I'm not going to think today. I'm not going to make any kind of, uh, you know, guessing or anything like this. Um, I actually did quite well, this stuff. Um, Now you understand that there were three properties in Russia. Uh, the neighbor Method Yerman stated uh, one property, and I disagreed with him during MK Ultra. Uh, and he admitted two properties, and I still disagreed with him. And I guarantee you there are at least three properties. Lukashenko did not get chance. Lukashenko wanted to build the property to copy a replica of our house, but would not get the chance. Probably Russia did not trust him enough. Maybe too close to Europe. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, but this here, I believe, is one of the locations. And this is probably, I assume, like the oldest one. Uh, let me see this stuff here. I... Ah, fuck this. Um, uh, <laughs> it's it's very difficult. It's it's very very difficult for me to go like this. Hey man, um, there isn't much shit. That's that's not possible to do it like this. Yeah, fuck this. Uh, you need to see some relief and so on, and then you can do the stuff that you can. Yeah, frankly, I don't need this. What I'm going to say to you is, uh, I did this, I think, exceptionally well. Um, yeah, this is something, something a little more I'm going to do. I actually will not even bother with it. Yeah, I will not even bother with it. No. Um, we're going to check this out, but all these villages here that you see, this Volnovka here also, exactly the area that you see right there. 
Um, this here, this for me is as good as it gets when it comes to this. Russia did use at least three replicas of the father's house. Maybe the craziest shit that uh, happened to me with this house here was maybe, I'm not really sure about this because father was playing with this furnaces like crazy. He was doing crazy stuff with his furnaces. And there was this company, Polher, and there was this company, I don't know, uh, different companies that would do these furnaces and stuff like this. And I don't know whether it was in this house or not, uh, but one time they would, the furnace that we would get several years later, they were already installed the furnace uh, inside of our house, which is a very, very high possibility, however, that Yoshko here from the Brushka was uh, actually a little further down Draga, down the Kirka toward Kostanivitz, where he's from, uh, it was used his employee and so on that are playing with this stuff and suggested that they got this already uh, in our house and so on, that it was already in our house and yeah, father was there, everything was there, uh, my room, everything, everything was there and was back and forth and this and that, it drove me fucking crazy with this. And then one day I see that they're actually installing the, uh, the furnace in our house and uh, I don't say like wait a minute man this furnace was here already uh, I just had this shit aside because I want to understand I actually video recorded that it would be really stupid if something like this would come out that I said that the furnace was inside of our house that was already installed <laughs> well you see uh, Boderus Boderus Buderus is a Swedish company, etc., etc., etc. Buderus will be Russian, etc., etc., that kind of stuff. It would be actually completely impossible for me to mistake in this shit. I very precisely have video recorded stuff, several terabytes of video recordings. I will not waste my time on it. And so there is a strong possibility that the stuff was done in Russia, actually, in one of these replicas that Vladimir Putin used to create his case of schizophrenia. Unfortunately for Vladimir Putin, there was already security agencies, those that he doesn't like at all, who have uh, nice photographed and documented uh, especially this property, that's why I took on this property. This was the most known property. As soon as something will become too much rampant, known about, they would change that to another location, etc. And then specifically, they would drive crazy with, you know, certain clientele involved only and so on and so forth. So uh, I, however, will um, insist um, <laughs> Obviously, that some people that I believe that it did happen uh, in our house, it actually didn't. Uh, I was actually quite surprised, amazed that it would be Americans meeting me in Russia. Uh, and I was like talking to them. Basically, I was saying to them, uh, they were saying to me that I have to get along with the Russians, and I was, first of all, this doesn't have nothing to do with the Russians. This is a problem because it does have nothing to do with the Russians. This has got something to do with a people that are mentally ill, and follow the cult 
suicidal quote of Vladimir Putin. This is that's all the hell there is. And the man is eager to get himself uh, probably to crown himself, whatever the case might be. And they're paying it dearly, man. I like using this Russia, this and that, but then I really have to again because. This will go on till the Russians will suffer so much, pay such a high price, so that they will realize it's just not worth it. It's actually crazy stuff to do something like this. So it was crazy when I had beautiful girls sitting next to me, exactly where I sit right now, completely replica. How they did this kind of stuff, Vladimir Putin would have Ruskis KGB talking about walk inside of our house with a telephone like this, not this telephone. They had really good phones. They acknowledge my phone is shit. Future phone that will be selling in Slovenia. This these are French phones. Uh, this Vico, etc., etc., and they actually examined the phones. I would have 10 years ahead of release in Slovenia of this phones. And we're making fun of it and, and laughing at it and so on. Today, I bet they're not laughing anymore. It's not a laughing matter anymore. So what they would do is, we have to see what we have to update in our house, basically. Right? You understand? That's basically how they did. That's exactly precisely to the last millimeter uh, the way they did this stuff. So it was crazy when I was when I was uh, flattered with these beautiful ladies from the U.S. and so on, and they insisted that I have to get along with the Russians and people that I have to get along with the Russians, and I was like, "Fuck them," and so on and so forth. But the thing is that I was in Russia. I was in a replica of the house, of this house in Russia. So that's quite interesting, isn't it? He never came to me, but he just... Today I walked home and I recalled a lot of uh, evidence. This is a testimony as real as it gets. Uh, Vladimir Putin does have a doppelganger. This is this man complained about plastic surgeries and shit. He wasn't happy about it. So I know that he does have a doppelganger. He doesn't have one, but he has two doppelgangers. One doppelganger dates back to like 1998, 1999. 98, 99. Uh, this was a doppelganger uh, that had to go through plastic surgeries and every here and there he does have to go and update himself uh, with more plastic surgery stuff so that he fits the description, the proper description of Vladimir Putin, yeah? So I'm going to explain to you exactly if anybody wants to ask about this stuff, you know, I know about this stuff a lot. So what else I would say about this stuff here? Um, Sarato, how many times I walked through that bridge, I just have to go and see it. Very violent place. Good people too. Or maybe people uh, got tired of uh, seeing me doing nothing. Uh, People getting tired of seeing me doing nothing, however, was a tactic to get me killed. Uh, in Yugoslavia, in Sfrj, in Federation of Yugoslavia, Yugoslav Federation, Greater Serbian Shetnik State, Yugoslavia, they demanded from me to go and identify YNA, Yugoslav National Army, high-ranking officers <laughs> uh, as per being involved in MKUltra. 
I did not even know what the fuck went on. I did not even know how I would refer to being procedure being drugged up and being basically molested by these people, being around these people, terror and all this stuff. I don't know even how I would re refer to this case because I don't know. Thanks God then this word came across MK Ultra. So at least I can refer to this stuff like this. I can see it sounds more professionally, doesn't it? Uh, this is so much really shit written about that makes me actually kind of scared. We live in a world where there is a lot of stuff happening. There is nothing but lies actually written about. What you read online about MK Ultra mostly is misinterpretation. It's mostly the stuff that's being used to drive victim, hopefully victims. I'm not the only person. If one would go and seek answers, like I did at the beginning, insane. <laughs> you get yourself into some kind of uh, psychotic reading, basically. That makes no fucking sense. And the further you read that kind of stuff, it pulls you away from where actually you should be at. That kind of stuff, too, is not only the book known as Endgame of the Scooby, uh, and I don't know what his last name is. It's not Scooby-Doo, but Scooby from London. Uh son of the immigrant lady that is making a lot of this right now with the book with his book um, all this shit is not only administered but yeah okay administered definitely King Charles read the book from Prince Harry before its release and King Charles read the book from the Scooby 10 years before its release too. Uh, he continued to work on one, but you know, this is just a sad reality about the West and the same shit is about MK Ultra. They always uh, enforce this writing about like from alternative news media is from mainstream media you don't even get to hear anything and so that, okay, that's actually the stuff that's used to pull the people into side channels uh, for a variety of reasons it all depends on the on the person however all this shit is actually totally coordinated by the people against whom you should complain etc 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 so not recommendable kind of writing. If you ever learn anything about MKUltra, you did from this program here. From my case, as for everything else, I had a fuck a. What they are talking about is also a whole bunch of. It's a pool of people that also collected the money from, on, you know, about MKUltra, me being victim, etc., etc. You know, it's too much stuff going on. If uh, you're writing a book in Western world, you will definitely come to attention if you're writing about somebody significant, president or some British royalty or something, you definitely come under the radar. And so if you would not agree to give the reading to uh, your, uh, you know, king, president, whatever it is, they make, they have an intelligence community, they, they have this intelligence, uh, central intelligence agency, uh, MI5, MI6, and they, they snap you that little, little book from your laptop, and they study to see what is it that you know too much about. They might actually even negotiate with you because they do. Otherwise, probably, I don't know. Uh, thanks for watching this video.
<sighs> it's still December the 4th, 2023. And so how much of the stuff was done inside of our house more than anywhere else? Russian houses will be used by some form of punishment in a sense, basically. If I would do something bad, the Putin would get the free hand, basically, to do with me as pleased. Uh, and... Compared to our house, Russian houses were used maybe, I would say, in respect to MK Ultra, give an impression that something goes on big in our house. The replicas were used, some said even 20%, but I would say maybe like 10%. I'm not talking about the police and such. I'm talking about presidents, Illuminati, so-called Illuminati people, royalties and so on that would gather in that house, you understand? A ratio, one out of ten, I would say. Um, Slovenia is not such a wild place that you could come here, etc., etc., the number, how many times all these airports in area, Zagreb, you know, uh, and uh, what is it, toward Trieste, a little further from Trieste, and uh, clog in the fourth, you know, dude, this, this was, this was, uh, how can I say, the airport was a uh, you know, God knows how much time per percentage wise was just the airports just with a plane. Too much. Um, it's not difficult to tell this shit. The difficult part was to actually get these proofs and, uh, you know, get the whole thing going. This is basically what the difficult part. The difficult part was to beat the psychiatry. Uh, it's not difficult to tell and point out this and that. The question is what the people are going to say. Actually, fuck people. The question is not what the people are going to say. The question is how quickly the ambulance vehicle comes to pick you up when you say something like this. In my case, they came to pick me up twice and terrorize all the time, you know. Thanks for watching this video.